or hey YouTubers, I am back. So I had some camera issues. I don't know, let me get in the frame. You know, I'm not the best at this. Anyway, I had some camera problems and I guess the flip camera I had was like the first generation flip camera. So a lot of my videos were very pixelated or not clear. So it took me a while to find this flip camera. So hopefully the videos will now be clear. So anyway, um, I missed you guys. I got a couple of emails from a lot of people. So um, I'm gonna give you a quick update. Uh, I think you guys saw my length check. So essentially my hair grew like about five inches last year and it thickened up a lot thanks to the castor oil. Yay, castor oil. Um, so this year I'm, I'm probably about this far maybe from my bra strap at the like, you know, because I really want my hair to go to the bottom of the bra strap. So maybe this far because um, almost dusting the top of it. Um, but I really want my hair to be, my goal is bra strap length, stretched out, of course, I'm going to get there first, but also um, I want to get bra strap length hang time. So that means with no stretching, it just hangs, it hits the bra strap. So we'll see. Um, so uh, a couple of other things. I travel a lot so with my job, so I come in and out of town. So uh, maybe I will try to do a tutorial for girls who do travel a lot or on the fly naturals so that you can have, um, you know, schlepping all that stuff around. It's a lot of oils, conditioners, leave-in, detangling combs, you know, castor oil, olive oil. It's a lot. So, and I'm going to try to see if I can find the best containers that won't necessarily leak or, you know, when you're on a flight, you end up with oil all over your bag. So, anyway, I'll look into that for you guys. And this is, I don't know, I, know, I don't know if I'm in the frame, but I do have a sundress on. I want you guys to see that I'm not naked because um, <laughs> I don't know how to get in the frame. So, here's what I did today. You can see my little puff. And uh, I guess I can show you the back. I don't know how it looks, but I'm going to just twirl the little flower in the back. So this is just like a nice, you know, whoops, I'm out of the frame once again. Nice protective style. Maybe I'll just step back. No, the further I go back, it just goes up. I don't know. Um, I'll play with it. Anywho, um, so I, I'll probably try to wash it tonight. It's thick in there, you guys. And I like my puffs to be sometimes chunky. So this is kind of what I do to try to make it ununiformed for newbies that want techniques. When I, you know, sometimes you don't want your puff to be all perfectly uniform, so I like it to be chunky-esque, and, uh, you know, um, so style tutorial very quickly. I have a, um, a flower, and as you guys know, I clip the flower to the, to the headband, see this little headband, the puff headband, so you don't want to rip your hair out, so you just clip it on there. Put it where you want to. I'm sure you guys know how to do a puff. If you don't know how to do a puff, I will post a tutorial on my puff. This particular headband is a little stretched out, so I need to get another one. So, anywho, I'm going to go ahead and take this down um, and either have the energy to wash my hair tonight. Chances are not. Or I will be um, flat twisting it and dealing with my hair another day. So, I miss you guys. Please rate, please post. Um, let me know your hair lengths. Oh, anybody who has links to good tutorials on how to flat iron your hair without doing heat damage, please let me know. Please send it to me because um, when I trim my ends, I like it to be straight. And I usually like to straighten my hair if I can once or twice a year just to see the true length grow without just stretching it and trying to guesstimate. So, Anyway, that's all. Thanks, YouTube. I'll be posting way more videos. Please share them with your friends and rate and let me know if there's anything you want me to cover. And that's all. Talk to you guys soon. Love ya. Bye.